Hey, how you doing? Sorry to make you wait so long, but this is the video that the teaser was about, so you know how life goes. Anyway, uh, let's get to it here. I got three infrared videos to show you, uh, give you an idea what you got to sort through to get the real deal. This here apparently is a single engine. You can see the uh, avoidance lights on the outside edge. This here, possible drone. Don't think it's an airplane. It's not strobe in any kind of way, so it's not a helicopter, it's not an airplane. Possible drone or something else, because this showed up a couple days before uh, the main character did. So I don't know what that one is. This here is strobe Figure it's a helicopter. Seen a lot of those out here lately. Nothing unusual about helicopters, but they're not around here a lot until recently. And I have been getting some incredible footage lately. I don't know if there's a connection or not. But this to me looks like a helicopter. And now he's shining this freaking spotlight at me again. But it turns out this is no helicopter. That's what I thought it was. And I figured they're, you know, doing their thing at me again. So. I took a couple pictures. I knew they weren't going to be in focus before I started the video, just in case. I just wanted the photographs for a time, time stamp because the infrared doesn't have one. Right about in there is where I took the photographs and the video. And the video ends right about there. So I come back in and I look at the uh, first photograph. I'm like, well, that's entirely out of focus but the uh, first thing I noticed was those were not lights that you would see on an airplane certainly not something that you would see on a helicopter they're just not in the right position that's when I realized that something else was flying by here so back to the uh, infrared this is a screen grab that I was looking at, and I happened to notice something here. You know, when you see um, wedding or birthday photographs or whatever, graduation, a lot of times a photographer will put that star filter on the lens of his camera, and you get this four streaks of light or six. You can buy those and put them on there. So I noticed that, and I thought, well, that's just the uh, spouting causing that uh, to look like that but then it made me think because I had already looked at the video that maybe something else was going on here causing that effect from the source itself so that's when I figured it's possibly the fabric or the memory material that's out around these objects because they are incredibly unusual now this is a lighting configuration you notice on the bottom there that red light that's not bright enough to be a running light on the belly of the craft. It should be as bright as those other lights. The one above it to the left is the wrong color, as well as the other two above and below that one. But within a nanosecond, the one on the bottom brightens up and flashes like it's a strobe. Strobes don't do that. They're either on or off. I mean, in a nanosecond. We got something else entirely different here. Uh, this is toward the uh, end of the video here where it starts getting a little bit distorted. But you can still see there's something else going on here besides lights blinking on an airplane or a helicopter or something. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here, this round object right here, is in each one of these. And all three of these, well there's another one's up here, okay. But these are the most prominent ones that you can see in the video. These are all rotating in a counterclockwise uh, manner. Okay. And there is a, an elongated object and a round object on the inside of these things. And you can see them move across the uh, surface uh, occasionally as it's going along. I mean, they're changing shapes. So I don't think that's necessarily happening from the outside. I think it's something that's going on on the inside, and it is affecting the surface 
of whatever these are. So like I said, I don't know if these are individual objects or they're attached to something. That's the intriguing thing here in my opinion. See, here's this round part that I'm talking about right here, which to me uh, validifies a lot of the photographs and images that I've taken in the past. This is relatively up close, okay? It's not that far out of focus, and it sure looks a lot like a lot of other photographs that I've taken where these things are changing shapes, opening and closing in flight, and it affects the photograph. So it makes me think different about a lot of these photographs and pictures that I've taken. And this again is toward the end of the video where it's uh, being distorted by the uh, movement of the camera. And uh, it's just incredible. So I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's from around here. If this is our technology, I don't see any reason they'd be out here flying these helicopters all over the place here lately, chasing around after these things. This is a civilian area. This is not a U.S. Uh, military test facility. So I don't think these are ours. And since this is a short video, I put it in slow motion here. Sorry, it's not better, but and right in here is where it starts coming into focus. The camera finally zooms in on it, locks onto the target, and then it's just what the heck. You know, maybe there's an invisible part out around the rest of it, you know what I'm saying? It could be an entirely different shape than just a string of lights right there. They seem to be being held together by something. So yeah, there was a there was a vehicle coming up the uh, roadway there, so this is what the ambient sound in the background is and it sounds weird like this because it's slowed down but anyway you can see that counter rotation or counterclockwise rotation there amongst all those objects and you can see that round ball roll around every now and then most prominent on the one on the left there sure don't know what it is that's for sure anyway we'll talk to you again later on i hope take care no matter what you're doing out there thanks again